but the enemy is trying to come back through and test the people of God. He wants to see, are you still harboring some anger in there, some bitterness? Blessings family, how's everybody doing? You know that I pray that all is well with you. Welcome back. I am so excited to be able to come before you today with another encouraging word from the Lord. You know that I do count it a blessing and an honor each and every time that I come before you. You know that I don't take my assignment lightly. But once again, I want you to know that I'm very, very grateful for you all. I pray that you all are still being blessed out there and that your family is still being blessed also. I'm telling you, we just serve a mighty God, an awesome God. I'm just so grateful for everything that he's doing. And I know he's doing some things in your life as well. I'm pretty sure that you all can testify about it. Once again, I'm just so thankful. I just stopped by for a moment just to encourage you all i want you to know that the lord is wanting us to you know just be careful in this season be careful of who we are allowing ourselves to have a conversation with he wants us to be careful in that area and be careful of who you allow to speak into your life we have to be careful people of god because the enemy is coming in another way i'm seeing him come through another way and he's trying to bring up some old things, you know, something that you went through in the past. You know, it could be church hurt. It could be anything. It could be an old relationship, just any little thing. But I'm seeing the enemy just trying to maneuver through those avenues right there. And a lot of times, most of us have been healed in those areas. But the enemy is trying to come back through and test the people of God. He wants to see, are you still harboring some anger in there, some bitterness, you know, something in there. So he's trying to see, can he attack you in that area? So that is why the Lord is telling us to be real, real careful of the conversations that we are having with people because we know a lot of people are on an assignment. The enemy has them on an assignment. So let us be careful of who we are conversating with. Once again, I'm seeing this happen a lot. He's just trying to replay the past. He's trying to do these things. See what triggers you. That's basically what he's trying to do. He's trying to see what triggers the people of God. But once you have been healed in that area, he cannot get you right there no more. So let us be careful, people of God, because we know that the enemy do not play fair. And he uses anybody that will allow him to. So it can be anyone. It could be a so-called friend. It could be a relative. It can be anyone that he will try and use to bring something old to you. Yes, he will try that. I'm seeing it a lot in the church, in the body of Christ. I'm seeing it arise a lot among the people of God. So we have to be careful that we are not entertaining these conversations because a lot of times these type of conversations can have you walking away, you know, heavy, just burdened down with what that person has just talked about. So you have to be careful or you can just be on the, on the phone call with them, but you can walk away feeling a certain way and just know that that is not of God. When people come through and they begin to dump, you know, the past on you, you know, they begin to do those things. So you have to be careful of the conversations. Keep your conversations holy, people of God. The enemy is just looking for any kind of way that he can get in and play that remember game with you. I don't play the remember game. No, I do not remember that. The Lord has forgiven, you know, us for so many things, but the enemy don't forget. He don't forget. So he will try and see if he can get you in that area. So be careful once again. Be careful of who you are letting lay hands on you. I can't stress that enough because people, you know, a lot of people carry sin. You know, a lot of people are still in sin. We know this, not everyone, but a lot of people do. So we have to be careful of who, 
is laying hands on you. You know I always say that. Who laid hands on you that wasn't holy? Because a lot of people that carry sin, that stuff will transfer. Spirits do transfer. We know these things. So that is why you have to be careful of who is laying hands on you also. Once again, be careful of the conversations and who is laying hands on you. Everybody's not, you know, holy. Everybody's not trying to be holy. Everybody's not keeping their conversation clean. So therefore, we have to be alert, people of God. We have to be sober. Be alert. Because we know that the enemy is seeking that very one whom he can devour. And once you've been healed in that area, oh, he gets real mad when he cannot attack you right there. So he's going to go and try and dig up something else. Best believe that. But you be on guard, people of God. Use your discernment. Because the enemy is just lurking around trying to attack the people of God some type of way. Remember, he wants to distract us. He don't want us to carry out the visions and plans that the Lord has given us. So many distractions will come your way. And he will use the people that is closest to you. So just be alert, people of God, and know that there is a spirit out there that's lurking around trying to bring back the past. Basically, he's trying to see if you're still hurt in that area. But whom the son set free is free indeed. We already know this. So use the word on the people of God. You are free in the name of Jesus. You don't have to take down. You don't have to bow down to what the enemy is trying to do. Glory to God. You just keep holding on to the word of the Lord. Just be alert to what the enemy is trying to do and use the word against him. Amen. Amen. Once again, I just stopped by just to enlighten, you know, you all in that area, what he is trying to do. I'm seeing that a lot. And I want you all to be encouraged. You all know that I love you with the love of Christ. And I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, you all stay blessed. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.